Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about the problem with the cinema going experience in Australia. Now, we have seen a lot of talk about people just aren't going to the cinemas. But I want to display why it might not be the audience at blame, and it's more the corporations who put the movies in cinemas, so your Warner Brothers, your Disney, your Amazon, your Netflix, so on. And why it's the cinema chains in general, because they are charging extreme fees for some of these. So I've got my iPad pulled up in front of me, and I'm going to go through some sites. I'm going to do a screen record. So give me two seconds, and we're going to go screen record, bang. It's going screen recording right now. And as you can see, I am in the Hoyt's website right now. And we're just going to have a look at a movie. We're going to say, okay, we're going to go watch a movie tomorrow. Let's say, let's go, we're going to watch a movie tomorrow. Let's say we're going to go to cinemas. My closest cinema is the Broadway store. And we're just going to say tomorrow, bang, which is Saturday. And we will look through here and we'll go, okay, you know what? Joker's getting a bad rap at the moment. We, we are seeing it lose money. There is a lot of bad reviews about it. Let's say out of the sheer curiosity, I might want to go and watch that movie. So I've heard the reviews. I've heard it's a pretty bad movie. I've heard all these things. I've even said it. I'm not the core demographic. They've shipped a musical when I'm a DC fan and I don't want to see that. So let's just say, you know what? Let's give it a chance. 6.15. Let's go to that session. Let's pick our seats. We'll go up the back, get the full scope of the cinema. Proceed. And herein starts your problem. $27.50 for a ticket. For a movie that everyone has said is universally bad. Every critic, every audience score has said that's bad. Now, let's say the sheer curiosity I wanted to see this movie. I ain't paying $27.50 to see something subpar. Now, could Warner Brothers dampen the loss that they're going to take? Yes, they could. They could lower these prices and say, you know what? We know we're going to lose money on this movie. Put the tickets down to $10, $15, and we'll get as many people in that cinema as possible. We'll try to lower it, do movie of the week or something, get people in the cinemas. But no, they're charging $27.50 for an adult ticket. And if you're a kid or concession or something, you can get in cheaper. You, a concession means like you may be a student or something or studying or, you know, that you earn under a certain income. That could be a concession. So, you know, there are benefits here to certain people, seniors as well. They're making seniors pay 20 bucks. Seniors aren't going for 20 bucks. <laughs> so this is part of the problem. But let's just say I want, I want to take that cost. You know, I'm happy. I want to see a movie. I want to give the Joker a chance. So let's say I'll put $27.50. Boom. Let's put that in. There you go. Booking fee. It's not even $27.50 anymore. It is now $29.20. Hidden booking fee that you don't get until you actually try to buy the ticket. And, okay, let's just say, okay, I you didn't give me the booking fee before. I would have made my decision. So, you know what? We'll just add that there. Let's proceed. Okay, let's see. I want to get some snacks. Now, obviously, people can try to sneak things in through the backpack. You still feel guilty anyway. I don't think people want to feel guilty when they go to the cinema. So, let's just say you wanted to buy a combo. Well, there's an online combo there. $19.90. $20.90 if you... Oh, they got Choc Tops in them. Okay, let's just say you didn't want the Choc Top. Let's try to find one without the Choc Top. Just a drink. Look at this, a family combo for $40. A family combo for $40. You get four popcorns and four drinks. That's like $10 what? $10 per person? No wonder families aren't going to the cinema. But let's just go through here. I'm going to be fair. I'm going to go down and find a regular combo for $20.10. Regular. Not a large. Regular. This is why people don't go to the cinemas in Australia. This is why we see more and more people choosing to wait for the streaming option. For the choice of, let's go back up to our regular combo. For the choice of a regular combo, you could get on Disney Plus for that price. You could get on Amazon and Netflix if you go the ad supported tier for that price. You can get on Binge that has HBO shows and everything on it for that price. For the choice for the price of a popcorn and a drink. This is why people don't go to the cinemas. This is why people are giving up on cinemas. It is not because of the audience. It's because we are in a cost of living crisis. And you might say, oh, but you've got a collection behind you. Yes, 
I agree, I have a collection behind me. It is a personal choice to have that collection. That's where I chose to put my money instead of going to this. So yeah, let's have a look at it. Okay, let's just say we want to eat the cost of the popcorn and the regular drink. We just want those. Or you could go back and get that, um, let's go back and get the choc top because it actually works out cheaper to get a choc top in this day and age. Two drinks and a popcorn for $32.60. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Let's let's get the choc top. Let's let's say, you know what? It's the online triple treat. Let's go there. Bang, $20.90. We'll add that in. And you can choose to put whatever here, but we'll just add one there and we'll choose the drink as a, I don't know. Let's go Pepsi Max. Boom. And then cho choice. We'll get the choc top. We'll get a, I don't know, vanilla. And yeah, let's add it to cart. Let's see the prices now. So now the $1, $1.70 booking fee, yep, for the popcorn and drink and choc top, $19.90, and the ticket, $27.50. You're paying $50 to go to the cinemas to see one movie that isn't even that good. This is why the cinema going experience is dying. And it isn't, it is, it is as John Campion says, it's death by and sorry, it's deaf by, it, it's deaf by its own. It's on its own. But you know, this is why people aren't going to cinemas. But look, we will be fair. It might just be Hoyts. Let's try the event experience. Let's try event cinemas. We'll try the event experience. Okay, so we'll try event times and tickets. We'll go there. We'll, out of all fairness, we'll give them a chance. We'll give, we won't tie one to the other. We'll see. Hoyts might be a bit overpriced, but maybe, maybe event is better. So the closest one to me is George Street. So let's see George Street. Can we even find George Street? There it is. Boom. And we'll just go down here. There's one on tonight, but we'll see tomorrow. We'll see some session times. Now, obviously, they offer a few more choices. They have like 4DX, VMAX. Um, I think, what did we get at the other one? We got the standard session. So we're going to choose the standard session for this one. So we'll go standard session. Where's the standard? They don't even have standard. Oh, 9.15 in the night. Let's go. That's the closest one. So let's choose the standard session. And for some reason, it's showing me a boutique, but I didn't even choose boutique. Okay. It is a standard cinema. So let's just go in the center of the cinema. Boom. Proceed. A standard session, same pricing, just about the same pricing. And patrons has actually paid more. So there you go. But let's just say adult, let's just say, you know what? Going to eat that cost. Booking fee again, there we go. They don't even tell you the booking fee until you hit it. It says $27, but it's actually $20, $28.70. So there you go. There it is right in action there. They're not even telling you that you are you are going to pay this booking fee until you try to buy it. So it's not even $27. It's actually $28.70. So yeah, let's just try Let's just say we're okay with that. Proceed. Now, obviously, let's go Gotham Combo. Yeah, you can get two Choc Tops in this one for $25 and a popcorn. But let's just say, you know what? We just want one Choc Top. One Choc Top. What did we order on the other one? Let's just say we wanted to do it as cheap as possible. You get a small Mount Franklin and a, a small Mount Franklin combo. So I'm guessing the popcorn's small as well for $15. Okay, that's a bit, bit of a stretch. But we'll see their deals. We'll give them. We'll give them benefit of the doubt. We'll see. We'll see how their cheapest prices are. Let's just keep going until we find something here. So chalk tops are about six eighty, which is a bit crazy. But that's a bit, that's about right. We'll we'll just give them benefit of the doubt. We'll see what their deals are. We'll go back to the top. So combos. Here we go. Let's just choose combos. So these ones eighteen dollars ninety for just drink a large combo. It's a large popcorn and a drink. Okay. Small combo, $16. Small combo, $16. Let me just repeat that. The small combo for a popcorn and drink is $16. But let's just say you wanted to get the small. Let's just say, okay, what is, what's equivalent here? We'll try to go for the cheapest option. So obviously you get the Mount Franklin. Let's just say you're happy drinking water. I don't know. But no, 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 we got, we got a Pepsi with Max with the other one. So let's, let's try to balance it out. Obviously we'll cut the jock top here because we're at it. We're getting a cheaper price. So we'll go the small combo proceed. It's $44.70 at the moment. And no, I'm not going to buy that. But yeah, do you see the point I'm trying to make here? $44.70 at event cinemas. And what's this one? This one was $49.10. For the movie going experience. 
And you might say, oh, but a 4K Blu-ray costs that much. Yeah, but I am choosing to do that of my own accord. That's what I choose to put my money towards. Other people might say, I, want, I like the movie going experience. I want to experience it in the cinema. But if you want to see The Joker, a movie that is universally panned and essentially going to lose money, it's going to lose money for Warner Brothers. There is no way they are going to make their money back at the end of this unless they put it on streaming and everyone where everyone goes to Max in America or binge here and watches it and just streams it over and over again. It's probably going to lose money. So there you go. $27 to see the movie, and that's not even counting the booking fee. So you've got a booking fee on top of that that they don't tell you about until you try to get the ticket. And there was a really good report on this this week. Um, and yeah, I don't really want to go into that because I have a conflict of interest with that one. Because I didn't work on it, but I do know the people involved in that report so I can't really talk about it I don't want to do a conflict of interest but yeah when you look at this this is why the movie going experience is dying this is why people like John Campier are saying he's about close to giving up on cinemas and then to top it all off Joker because it's losing money that will probably be on streaming in 30 days let's put it that way they're going to get that off streaming as fast as possible and you know what let's just go a little bit further so let's just say, you know what, let's go to Google, where's Google? And we'll type, um, no, don't, we don't want to switch. Let's just type 1997 December box office. Here we go, box office mojo. Alongside Titanic, when Titanic was tearing up the cinemas and you were like, okay, it's taking over the world. What was beside it at the same time? So this is the domestic box office, so the US box office for December 1997. Alongside Titanic, you had Scream 2. People can agree, Scream 2, great movie. Tomorrow Never Dies, 007. You have that in the cinema at the same time. That released in December as well, alongside Titanic. Flubber, great Robin Williams movie. In cinemas, same time. Alien Resurrection, say what you will about Alien Re Resurrection. Not the greater movie, but you know what? It's an alien movie, it's in cinemas. Now obviously we've had an alien movie in cinemas recently, but you know, Mouse Hunt, decent movie. I actually grew up on Mouse Hunt, really good movie. Anastasia, not my favorite movie, but it's in cinemas, guess. As good as it gets, I think that was Jack Nicholson, I believe, not 100% sure. Rainmaker, was that, um, was that Tom Cruise? Might have been Tom Cruise, actually. Let's just have a look at that one. Am I thinking of the right one? Hey, just a quick edit, because I'm editing the video together. I actually said that Rainmaker was Tom Cruise, and it wasn't Tom Cruise. It was actually Matt Damon. The one I was thinking of was Rain Man, so, um, yeah. Little error. I don't think I'm thinking of the right one. Yeah, it is. It is Tom Cruise. I am thinking of the right one. Yeah. So, and then you have Amistad. You have For Richer and Poorer, Home Alone 3, The Jackal, Jackie Brown was kind of doing the tour in December 1997. Look at all the great movies that were in the cinema at the same time alongside Titanic. So if you didn't want to see Titanic, you, you didn't want to watch the big box office attraction. Let's just say you were doing the protests and were like, you know what, I'm going to go see another movie. Look at all the choices you have in the cinemas at that time. And then let's go to our current ones. Let's go back to events. Let's go back there, boom. Let's see the options for tomorrow. Let's see what we have now showing. Let's see what now showing. Smile 2. I haven't watched Smile 1, but people do like that movie. I will give it credit. Terrif Terrifier 3. I mean, I know people are really giving that rave reviews. Very good. Assassination Plan. Um, don't know too much about that, but it's got Michael Keaton in it, so. Yep. Uh, the Wild Robot. Transformers 1. Beetlejuice. Caroline, Runt, The Hopeful, Cat Video Fest. What is this? Okay, there might be a good movie in cinemas. <laughs> okay, so cat, cat cinemas. Let's see how much they're charging for. Right, I don't want to add it to my watch list. Let's see. Can I, can I go to a cinema? Let's see if I can watch this in a cinema. Let's just say I want to watch cat videos because TikTok's not enough for me. 12.30 tomorrow. Let's, let's get a seat to that. Boom. $27 to watch cat videos. I'm sure it's a good movie, though. 
I'm just not going to pay $27 to go and watch cat videos that I can watch on TikTok. So yeah, have you learned anything from this? I mean, John Campier talked a bit about, yeah, in his scathing of, the, he absolutely, absolutely went after the cinemas, but like, yeah, it has nothing to do with the audience. It has everything to do with we're in a cost of living crisis. The audience is being priced out and pretty much they're, they're essentially taking it out on the ones that still want to go to the cinema. Let's say I'm okay paying $20. I don't want to pay $30 to watch The Joker. I might be okay paying $15 and just checking it out on a whim, but I'm not going to pay $30 for a film that everyone has universally panned. So yeah, take with this what you will. I have tried to keep the balance in this video. I've tried to be very neutral. I have showed event cinemas as well as Hoyts, so they're not in the same thing. But out of curiosity, let's go one more step, IMAX. Now um, IMAX is a bit weird in Australia because it's controlled in Sydney by event cinemas. So let's go IMAX Melbourne because I want something that's an actual IMAX. I don't want something that's controlled by event cinemas uh, like uh, the Sydney IMAX is. So we'll go to the one in Melbourne because I know that is actually backed by IMAX. That is the actual proper IMAX. Let's go, okay, let's go to Interstellar. Look at that, 1570 they're showing on film. So okay, let's say we wanted to watch the film print. I mean, look, Film prints are always going to be more expensive. I mean, 64 bucks, but you're getting a film experience, so I, I don't think that really counts. Let's just say you wanted to watch, I don't know, what's, um, what's some session times? Here we go. Let's see what's on the big screen in Melbourne. Great Barrier Reef. So they're, they're kind of showing that they want film print. They're kind of showing that the film print is their big movie. They're not really going to put anything in there that's not going to make money. So let's go to Sydney IMAX. IMAX Sydney. Boom. And I know this is controlled by event cinema, so let's go there. Let's see how much an IMAX film is for something. What's showing tonight? Interstellar showing in Sydney. Interesting. And it's a sellout. Look at this. Look at this. They know what sells. The cinema knows people want to watch Interstellar. Right there. If people don't want to go to the cinemas, or if you want to charge more, Make it an experience. People will come for the Interstellar. People will come to watch Interstellar. People will come to watch The Dark Knight. People will come to watch the Nolan movies because they are shot for the big screen. But people are not going to come back for Joker 2 unless it's a really good price. Let's see some ticket prices this week. Let's see what's on the big screen. Dark Knight's on tomorrow. Let's see that. Let's just see The Dark Knight while we're here. Look at that. that all the good seats in that cinema is almost sold out. And just out of curiosity, let's just see how much the price of each seat is in this cinema. $40 for a ticket, but obviously that's an experience. You want to be in a cinema with other people watching The Dark Knight. I have went to that cinema and watched The Dark Knight too. It's freaking awesome with the, with the IMAX. It's so awesome. It's worth, it is worth $40 for the experience of it. So let's just see if there are any other movies on at the cinemas that we can kind of compare to other things. Obviously, the Nolan movies are on. Let's go to Monday. Interstellar Batman Begins. Interstellar. So they know Interstellar is selling. They definitely know Interstellar. Venom. So Venom is obviously a... Um, that's coming out on what, Thursday. So let's go Let's go to a late session. I think Venom will do good. But I'm going to guess it's $40 a ticket, just like the other cinemas. Oh, no. Okay, so you get a... If you have points, you can use them. But adult, $40. And... Maybe that is worth $40 to see it on the big screen. Maybe it will shop for IMAX, so we don't know. But this is what I'm trying to display, you know. I'm trying to show that the cinema going experience is kind of a product of mismanagement. It is not the cinema goers who should be to blame. I want to go to the cinemas. I'm just not going to pay $27 to see Joker when it's universally panned. I'm not going to go see Megopolis if it's like overpriced. And everyone has said it's kind of all over the place. I might go and see it just because it's Francis Ford Coppola. But I'm definitely not going to pay a huge amount to go and see it. I think we're at this point now where cinemas need to adapt to the times. First things first, they need to stop this, this trend. And the cinema, uh, the studios need to stop this. This trend of just hurrying up to get on streaming. Just get it along. Let's, 
let's go screen record again. We're gonna we're just gonna do a second screen record in three, two, one. We're recording. And let's go to Titanic Wikipedia, because the world is better according to Wikipedia movie. And we're just gonna check something, because um obviously this came out in December 1997. Let's try let's check the home the home release. When did that come out? It came out on home media on September 1st, 1998. September 1st. It was released in cinemas on December. December what? December 18? You had to wait until September the next year to watch it. From December the year before till September the year after. Just saying. December it came out. You had to wait till September to get it on phys um, physical media or even to view it. This is why cinemas are dying. And this is another point. Why in the blue hell would you go to a cinema when it's going to be on streaming 20 day 28 days later? I'm going to leave it there, guys. And let me know what you think in the comments. Has this been like productive for you? If you've learned anything, let me know, and uh, like, yeah, like, subscribe, drop a comment, um, let me know about why you don't go to the cinemas, or why you still choose to go to the cinemas. Is, it, is the cost hurting for you, or are you kind of okay with that? So, I mean, obviously some people will say, yeah, I'm okay with it. Some people will say, hey, I can't afford to take a family of four there. there. I can't afford to go to the cinemas, it's just too much. We, we're at this point now where cinemas may really hurt themselves, because... Yeah, we don't know. They're just not adapting to the times. And the studios aren't adapting to the times either from the look of things. The Joker is still full price, and that's why no one's going to go see the Joker. I'll leave it there. Like, subscribe, drop a comment, and catch you in the next one. Peace.